Hi friends, in today's session we will see how you can create service principles in Azure portal. If you have a client through which you want to access Azure resources, then it's good that you use service principles because uh, through service principles you can let uh, delegate specific permissions using a role-based access control. So let's get started and see how to create one. So log into Azure portal and then go to Azure Active Directory and we will register an app. It's app registration. Click on new registration. Give any name for your service principle. So say I will give here and then provide your supported account times i will leave it accounts in this organizational directory only so and uh, if you want you can provide direct url but it's optional and then just click register now once service principle is created keep a note of application id this is the id which you will use while authenticating with Azure to provide access to whatever client application you have. So you can take a note of that. Also, you go to certificates and secrets, click here and create one client secret. So you'll create one and you can provide the expiry time, how long this will be valid. I will just leave it as one year and click add. So here is the key. So make a copy of this particular key because you will pass this as client secret whenever your client app requests access to Azure resources. So it will be required. And once you close this page, you won't be able to access this key. Again, you have to generate a new one. Now with your service principle ready and you can see in app registration it shows like this. Also you will see in enterprise applications uh, it will show up there test user principle. Now we will assign a role based access control so that it will make sure what scope or what resources this uh, service principle can access. For that go to all services and search for subscriptions click on subscriptions and then select the subscription which you are using i'm using pay as you go so i'll select this and then click on access control iam here you will have different options click on role assignments and click plus add select add role assignment now in this drop down here you will see all the different types of roles which you can assign to this service principle uh, for this i will select contributor and in assign access to i am going to search for my service principle so once selected click it and it will show on the selected members and then save and that's it so your service principle test user principle is now ready and you can pass this uh, client id and the client secret through your client app request and then it gets authenticated and you will get an access token which can be used for all your requests from client app to access the azure resources Thank you for watching.